Math rocks. I think math is cool. Math is tight. Math is rockin'. Math rules. Math is awesome. <coughs> Ready, set, go. As educators, we know it is extremely important for our students to learn their multiplication and division facts. Do your students, though, struggle with these facts? Would you love a fun tool to help embed these facts into your students' long-term memory for life? Then, you are ready for Mad Dog Math. Mad Dog Math will help you as an educator teach your students to teach themselves. Nightly drilling at home and a daily paper pencil drill at school is an exciting formula for success. This program is motivating, it's competitive, it's challenging and easy to implement, and best of all, your students will love it. I think it's helped make math fun for Kenneth. He really enjoys the competitive idea of trying to get it done in a very quick period of time. And there's nothing like memorization, and that has really helped him. Hi, I'm Julie Kotoff, and I want to thank you for investing in your, your students' math future by investing in my math drill program. I've been in education since 1975 and worked close to three decades with my math drill program and found it fun, motivating, and exciting. We know as educators that if children at a certain level don't master their multiplication and division facts, at best they limp through math for the rest of their lives. It's something that they must do. And it's quite a huge daunting task if it's not broken down into pieces. And I have done that. Here are the list of things you're going to need. You're going to need the order poster, the A and B keys, a two-tiered file, a timer, and a grid for recording your students' passes. This is my math drill order. This is a poster that I have posted in my classroom and also I send home. All of my children have this. And I've broken down my math drill into families. You can see that it starts with a two times. Once they pass that, they move on to two divide. Once they pass that, they go to three times, then three divide, four times, four divide, all the way down to zero to 12 times. I give them uh, two minutes to do a drill. A drill consists of 24 problems. Once they do this, once they pass all of them in two minutes, they go through the whole set in one minute. Once they've done that, they go through the last time in 30 seconds, and by that time, you can imagine, they know their math facts like they know the back of their hand. The next thing I'd like to show you are just my, my folders for my keys. I have an A key, and these have all my math drill keys in it, and a B key. So when we're doing A that day, I'm going to have my A folder in front of me. When we do B, I'm going to have my, these are the keys I'm going to hand out to my students. I have trained my children to put their past math drill papers in the top file, and there are no past math drill papers in the bottom file. And it's just, or it's an organizational thing that will cut time. When I go to make my drills for the next day, I take my papers out of the pass file, and I just check to make sure that they've got them in the right file. Yep, these are all pass. I lay them aside, and I'm going to pull the drill for tomorrow, their next drill. I take the no pass papers, look through them. Yep, they haven't passed. I'm going to pull that same drill for them tomorrow. It's just an organizational tool that works and it'll make things much run much more effectively and efficiently. Next, you're going to need a timer. And finally, you're going to need a grid for recording your students' passes. This is the way I keep track of it. And this in itself is worth a million dollars, especially during parent conference time. You can, I can see at a glance who is behind, who's ahead, who's in the middle, who's in the two minute club, who's in the one minute club, who's in the 30 second club. And I've set it up with my students' names and then I'm marking them off, the kids that pass every day, and this at a glance tells me everything I want to know about where my kids are in math drill. Let's go see what math drill looks like. Okay. Okay, here it is. You guys ready? Two minute club. Ready, set, go. One minute club, 30 second club, just hang loose for just a minute.
one minute club. Ready, set, go. 30 second club. Hang loose for just a bit. Thirty second club. Ready, set, go. Stop, pencils up. Good. Trade with your neighbor. Good job. Zero to four times. Ooh, Augie, you are hot on the ball. Five, divide, uh, five times, skip. Five divide, skip. Six times, Danica up honey, six divide, skip. Zero to six times, Joshi up. Seven times, skip. Seven divide, Drew up. You look like an angel, Drew. Eight times, skip. Eight divide, Jakey to Chris. Chris up please. Zero to eight times. Skip. Okay, here we go. Stand up if you pass with a minus zero, minus one, or minus two. Drew, are you up, Joshy? Drew, good job. Team three, good job, Kenneth. All, wow. Okay, what did you just pass? So now you're in the, congratulations, five tickets. Come on up, let's give him a hand. Woo, 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 good job. Excellent, and Ashley, and are you up, Jackson? Yep. Very good. Excellent. All right. Andrew, you're out of the you are out of the th one minute club into the 30 second club. Congratulations. Whoa. A few details that you're going to need to master as a teacher to get Mad Dog Math really flowing are these. Number 1, how your students are to correct Number two, how to pass around the classroom keys for quick correction. And the last is how to prepare your student's individual drill for the next day. They started taking math drill and they started loving it. They started looking forward to doing math drill. And I would say within two months and certainly by the end of the year in June, my fourth graders knew their math facts so well so that I could go on to higher uh, levels of math with them. His grades have come up dramatically and I feel like he's ahead of the game now instead of right at grade level so this system really helped. It is, has been a tool that I don't know how I lived without. It's a great asset to my classroom. It helps with the curriculum and it helps my children learn the facts.